Hey guys, it's Kojo, you know. Today, what we're gonna do is kind of do like, instead of a book review, it's gonna be a movie review. I think this would suit me better. If you've seen my first book review, don't check it out actually. It was horrible. <laughs> I don't think I did that good of a job. So I think I'll be good doing movies. Let's just start. So first one is Monster in Law with Jennifer Lopez and then this lady and then this boy. He is so cute. Mm. Jennifer Lopez, Jane Fonda, Wanda Sykes is in it, and Michael Barton. I love this movie. My whole family loves this movie. It's funny. It's just, it makes you, it's like one of those kind of predictable movies as well. Like at the end, like they actually, whatever. But, um, it's like, like this says, outrageously funny. She met the perfect man, then she met his mother. Uh, Charlie which is Jennifer Lopez, uh, thought she'd never find the man of her dreams until she meets Kevin, Michael Barton. However, poor Charlie is in for shock when she finally meets his overly possessive mother, Viola, who is Jane Fonda. Uh, determined to scare off her son's new fiance, Viola hatches a scheme to become the world's worst mother-in-law. <laughs> uh, with the help of her loyal, wise, cracking assistant, Wanda Sykes, uh, Viola does everything she can to break up the happy couple, but when Charlie gets wise to her schemes and decides to fight back, a wild and hysterical battle of wits be begins. I said the wrong one. Second one, my mom showed me this three days ago, I think, or some, some days ago, and it's Overboard with Goldie Hawn <laughs> and then um, Kurt uh, Russell. While her yacht's stuck for repairs in a small Oregon town, spoiled socialite Joanna Staten uh, hires local carpenter Dean Prophet, who's um, Kurt Russell, to remodel her closet, but then refuses to pay him. So when she accidentally falls overboard and loses her memory, Dean takes his one chance for revenge, claiming she's Annie, his old ball and chain. The hunky widower makes her work off Ooh, I can't see. Uh, the hunky widower makes her work off her debt by taking care of his house and four unruly children in this laugh out loud funny riches to rags romance. This is a really old classic kind of movie. My mom showed it to me. She was like, Well that one is funny, we should watch it. And I was like, I can I actually really liked it. So this is one of those romantic movies that I could definitely watch. It was good, it was funny. Next we have kind of an old one. Was it old? I don't know. But it's kind of old to us, I guess, because we've seen it so many times and it was like back when, um, I think my sister got this or something, I don't know. But it's No Reservations. Looks like that. Uh, with Catherine Zeta-Jones. Aaron Eckhart, is that dude too? And that girl from freaking Nims Island, I don't know what her name is. Abigail Breslin. I want a perfectly prepared dish of tender quail and truffle sauce. Kate, which is Catherine Zeta Jones, a workaholic master chef, can do that. But don't ask her what to do about the free spirited, opera loving Sow's chef, Aaron Eckhart, who joins the staff of her upscale Manhattan restaurant, or what to do about the orphan niece, Abigail Breslin more partial to fish sticks than foie gras that's french okay who comes to live with her i wish there was a cookbook for life with recipes telling us exactly what to do kate tells her therapist bob balaban balaban i don't know the love of life and and of great food spices up this warm-hearted and funny tale about a woman discovering a world bigger than her kitchen come on in something new and different is cooking at kate's place other reservations is really good it's really cute. It was funny at times. Um, I wish I could cook. Next one. Some of you may really, really know this. She's a man. <laughs> I love she's a man. With the man Bynes right there. And freaking Channing Tatum right there. And that dude, I don't know who he is. Amanda Bynes proves that girls can do anything guys can do and she's a man. The laughs are non-stop with Viola when Viola Viola. Okay, when Viola, disguised as her twin brother Sebastian, James Kirk, 
joins the high school boys' soccer team and helps win the big game while unexpected I can't speak. Unexpectedly falling for Duke, Channing Tatum, he is um <laughs> the hot star forward. Viola discovers that dealing with high school politics, okay, and twisted love triangles is a major challenge when in ensemble cast I just skipped the whole part. With high school politics and twisted love triangles is a major challenge when you're a guy who's really a girl. She's a man features an ensemble cast of up and coming stars and hit songs, so kick back and get ready to laugh out loud. This was so funny. The fact that she's a guy and like she has a big guy lead, I guess. It was so funny. And it starts off really good too. She's a man, definitely need to see it if you haven't, but a lot of people that I know have seen it, so. The last one is we, me and my mom just watched this last night. It's called Our Family Wedding. Laugh it. Mm -hmm. uh, with Forrest Whitaker, America Ferreira, uh, Ugly Betty, uh, <laughs> Carlos Mencia, Regina King, and Lance Gross. This is like one of those rom coms too that I like. Um, like I can't watch like just a romantic movie like The Notebook or whatever. No, the wedding is even funnier on Blu-ray. When college students Marcus and Lucia um, make a surprise engagement announcement, their feuding fathers Whitaker and Mencia threaten to turn a dream wedding into a battle royal. Throw in eccentric oh my god I can't speak eccentric relatives in clashing cultures, and you've got a recipe for laugh out loud lunacy. And it's an event you can't miss. This was my movie review. If you enjoyed, leave a like. Subscribe for more. Comment questions, what I should do in future videos. Comment if you want to see more movie reviews or other stuff. Just comment me anything. Share with friends because it'll be a chain reaction. And I'll see y'all. Nope, this video is going up Friday. I'll see y'all Tuesday.